Why White Parents Are Lazy Failures. Now, for those of you who don't know me very well and those who insist on ignoring the things that I say, certain things I say, here's a disclaimer. I'm talking about what I'm talking about, not what I'm not talking about. I'm not going to, every time I mention something, say, not every white parent is a failure. Not every white parent is a lazy failure. I only have to do that because you're a lazy failure or raised by lazy failure parents. But let me tell you, the parents who are lazy failures and white, here's one of the reasons why. In our culture, the worst disease you can get, worst STD, sexually transmitted disease, is the social disease of pregnancy. Think about it. What's worse than teen pregnancy? It's the worst thing ever. The reason why we have so many lazy, failure white parents is because they buy into culture, because they have a vested interest to those white people who do. They buy into culture because they benefit from it. They benefit from pretending that the worst thing you could do is be a teen parent. What does this do? This makes it to where they wait until much longer before they have kids. So just right off the bat, if you're 30 years old and you have a kid instead of 16 or 17 you have a kid, 30 year old has less energy than a person in the prime of their physical life in their teens and early 20s. But it's worse than that. If you just simply lived a happy, mobile, moving, and interested life, then at 30 you could have a kid actually, and it would be fine and you'd be able to raise your kid fine. But actually, the, all of the propaganda, social norms, and mythology that goes into scaring kids out of having sex and having kids when biologically they should be, yep, all the worries and fears creates a lazy, fearful, sedentary, uninteresting, uninterested person. So again, why do we have so many lazy failures as white parents? It's because they have this vested interest in buying into the idea, no, no, just put it off, put it off, put it off, and all of the excuses and all of this, this, the other things that you do instead of having a sexuality, having kids, it blinds you from any capacity to ever raise kids once you finally decide after your third doctorate if you're a woman, and if you're a guy, after you make all this money, then maybe I'll have a kid because that would be an interesting venture. Those white people who I'm talking about think like that. And they're failures as parents because once a kid comes, you realize, oh, it's more than just a venture. It's not just interesting sometimes. You have to constantly be around this kid. And you've been raised, for example, to be completely self-absorbed. No, no, you don't, you don't want to have sex. Be absorbed with that thing. Be absorbed with this thing. You've been led around a hamster wheel or a maze, and then when you finally say, hmm, maybe I'll do this thing, the thing that's most controlled in culture. Maybe I'll breed. Wait, does the woman have lots of doctorate degrees that she's not going to use once she becomes a mom because she's going to realize, wow, this is what I like. I actually like to raise kids and, and be happy. No, 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 you don't. You don't. Go back to your cubicle. Work a job you hate to buy shit you don't need to impress people you don't like. That's what you want to do. That's empowering. We'll even give you free sterilization pills. Once you find out how great it is to be a parent, you're no good for parenting because you have shit priorities and you've lived a life of shit priorities. So to say the least, you're usually lazy, like you don't have the energy because it has been stripped away and you are lucky to be led into white culture and have it stripped away. And you're a bad parent because you, you just, oh, well, let the TV raise them or oh, I don't feel like dealing with them, give them what they want. It's not worth arguing with them. This is it. Again, I'll just say, I'm talking about what I'm talking about, not what I'm not talking about. You can, what about this over here? Or what about black people? The worst one I ever heard of did some crazy thing. Yeah, that's, that's it. That thing that you're doing where you don't want to understand the context that I'm using and the people that you see doing what I'm talking about, where they put off living, they put off, and, and not just because you have to have kids to live. I'm talking about they put off living as part of being disguised away from sexuality and having kids. They put off life in general and go into these mindless pursuits. You see this happening. You see lazy, failure white parents. And you want to go into this, what about the worst parent of some other demographic, typically black? What about the black mother who did such and such? What about all the kids out of wedlock? That's all well and somewhere else. It's a red herring and we're not going to chase it. 
lazy failure parents become that way because of bad priorities. You can shoot the messenger, you can ignore the messenger, you can bang your head against reality. Anyhow, you can shoot the messenger, but the message is bulletproof. Go back to sleep. <laughs>